coach on that. So that's pretty good. Uh, we were talking, right. yeah, we were talking quite a bit about as far as the HR functions. So you should actually listen to that. Um, I recorded the the call. We have a recording right. of the call. So right. I think it would be actually quite instructive for you to to think about it because I was asking him about you know how fast can we grow the team how do we do it blah 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 and he had some some decent insights on that so I kind of was kind of going over the the whole year plan um, of what's what's going on with OSC and then okay. um, yeah yeah so that would be useful the other thing that's that could be useful for you actually I ran into this uh, it's this one thing on the thing I mentioned called I love marketing which is called the CEO warrior this one guy was talking about, he had some decent messages about recruiting. I, I, I think it would be quite interesting for you to listen to that. Uh, okay. So I'll pass on these two things. One, one of them, yeah, the, the meeting with Cameron, my coach, was an hour. And the other one is like, I think like half an hour or an hour. So I think they're, they're worth listening to because they have some good insights. Both have good insights on the recruiting part. So it'll be part of your training and maybe you can let me know what you thought about it. Uh, see if it was okay. useful for me. If it is, then we can continue. Uh, you know, we can put that into our training training manuals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Good. as far as today's uh, today's agenda, I thought there's two two main things to go over. One is the, um, yeah, how I mean, getting you involved in more of the stuff. But but one main thing is definitely. So, so part of the HR generalist thing is, is onboarding and getting people oriented and stuff. But I think maybe what we can do is work on one is like the welcome letter and two, okay. item number two, believe it or not, that's still the, the ISO, the, the operating system for, for OSC, which I think you can help, help out with quite a bit. So one thing that's, I kind of see it's a little bit in a way already, like with, um, so Jean Baptiste, who was uh, one of the people applying, uh, it took him some time to. He was kind of messing around with the software a little bit, and that was because we don't, we didn't really have the the ISO with all the downloadable material, all the stuff already installed. But um, maybe we can have have you help with that, also because um, it's kind of a. We need that, and and it's not done yet. It's, it's it requires a little bit of follow up, but. What we have on that so far is uh, we have a downloadable ISO that's supposed to work, but I couldn't get it to work on my computer. So actually, Jay, uh, do you remember Jay from the workshop? Were you there with, uh, with Jay Kumar? No, I met him. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, maybe you didn't meet him at the workshop, but but he volunteered to do that, but he hasn't, um, that's not complete yet, but maybe what we could have you do is, is follow up on that. And now also we have Michael, who we're going to interview at at 3:30. Right. He's a computer guy, actually. So, so what I was thinking, um, if yeah, I can, actually, I, know, I know Michael. He came in. Uh, he stayed at that's our place right. for a few days. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know him. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's really. You think you could work with him a little bit, get some help from if he's of course willing to do that. Um, get some help from him on making the ISO work out. It's basically testing it, and if it doesn't work. Uh, we got to get it to work. So that means we got to ask some computer guy to help us with it and document it. And it could be Jay, but I haven't had time to follow up with Jay. He basically kind of gave me the whole thing. He didn't document um, everything about it. So that's kind of like like missing. Uh, but basically I had trouble. Like you download, you can download a computer operating system and you're supposed to boot it off your USB drive. I tried doing that and it just wasn't booting the other system. So we have to just troubleshoot it. You know, he he supposedly did that. Uh, so that would be. You think? Um, would you be able to to work on that? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? I could probably collaborate with Michael on it because you know I, I know him. I think uh, we could probably work together. Pretty. We could uh, probably figure it out. I think. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, the relevance is that we still. I mean, even right now, as I as I mentioned, Jean Baptiste, he he like he spent. A, he told me he spent a few hours trying to download this plug-in for for FreeCAD which for some reason he thought he needed it so already we're kind of seeing that you know I'm wasting people's time because they don't have the appropriate software ready to go you know so as we scale up we gotta 
eliminate all those kinds of wastes of time because you know that's that's productivity we got to be really respectful of for various people so but you, you know the idea right the OSC Linux meaning you've got all the the software that we use already installed so you don't have to mess with installing anything and it actually ends up saving people a lot of time yeah okay yeah all right. yeah so for example like even um, that I, that is the Linux Call it the ISO. You, you heard people use the word ISO, right? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. Yeah, they right. refer to it's ISO as a disk image of a of something that you can install on something like a USB. So an ISO for you, you can get this basically a bootable. It's an operating system that you download and put on a USB drive, and you can boot okay. from it instead of booting from your normal operating system. I mean. Okay that's that's the idea so so you can actually run the linux like all the software that we use whether you have a mac or or windows you just run it right off a simple everyday usb drive it only needs okay. like a like a uh one or two gigabytes of, of a usb drive not a problem you plug that into your computer and you hit like on my my computer it's like you hit f12 to go into to boot from usb instead of booting from the computer memory so you just hit a key upon startup, and you can boot in right into the new operating system. And it doesn't change anything on your computer at all. It's like your computer is completely intact. Nothing gets messed up. Um, so it's it's safe. It's People don't have to worry about installing their own operating system. They can run off the USB drive without right. any change to their computer. So that's, that's very cool. Um, okay. Yeah. So... With that said, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. But I think the main thing would be to talk about uh, if I could get your help on uh, on an onboarding procedure where we send out the formal uh, welcome to the team email okay. because that includes a lot of the a lot of the different uh, onboarding elements. It's it's something that um, yeah, those are two things. The the other third thing is of course posting the actual OSC dev job announcement which the priority there is to do like a formal job you know role description on that. Did you get a chance to work on that at all or anything or? Um, so what I was thinking was so the one we did for the HR yeah. I think kind of the introduction is is pretty good. Yeah. So I was thinking we just changed you know obviously the name of the position to you know, the development team and then just like the the tasks, I think it's the only thing that you know we really need to change is just from HR to development team, and then yeah, if you could just make a, I mean, I think you'd probably be better describing, you know, what it entails. I mean, I have a, a you know, I have an idea. Okay. Um, but maybe, maybe we could collaborate on that. Maybe you could uh, work something up, and then I could. Okay. Notes on it. Okay. Maybe maybe I could write the first draft, then you can write the second, or. Or you can write the first draft, and I can go over it. Which, which one would you prefer? Um, I I think you're probably you'd probably be better off doing the first draft because okay. um, you know, I know some of the development stuff. I think you have a clear idea for what that entails. Yeah, yeah, and I think what I want to do. Yeah, eventually when I get around to it, but I want to do a video a, a video blog. Showing okay, here's what happens during the the standard development procedures that we use in our working teams. So yeah, I could do a I could do a quick video on that. Uh, but yeah, the main thing is the task description, which would be more kind of like the general stuff. Basically, I kind of taken the points that we did. Uh, yeah, point by point, kind of listing like exactly what you said, and just make it as clear as possible for people. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, but right now, let's see, let's take a look at, um, let's go over, yeah, so actually let's, let's collaborate on a, so let's open up a document. I'm, I'm going to set up a document and we can just do, uh, let's work on the work, um, the, the details of the onboarding email, because that, that kind of touches upon a lot of the elements, which you should also know, like when you're, um, interviewing people, you should be, you know, the more you know about the whole thing. Right. the better so that's just just part of the deal um, let's see and 
And as we go forward here, as far as I guess the job announcement, that's a pretty decent, decently high priority. I should do that like tomorrow, maybe. Today I was um, going to work more on a 3D printer, but tomorrow maybe I can get you a cut of that. So maybe like tomorrow you can start posting all of that. We, we pretty much got to just get it up on all the venues. Um, okay. Once we have that formal job announcement, we can pass it on to our social media, to our friends and everything. And my advisor today mentioned that a good thing to do would be to... I mean, really ask our people, you know, you're one of our people, but, you know, all the other people, if they can bring in somebody else, like that's, right. it's like, you know, that's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Um, I yeah. kind of just did a quick, um, you know, look into coming up with like a marketing plan. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I want to see if that's, I know we talked about guerrilla marketing and, and yeah, you got like something that. to look at right now or, um, well, did you write that? I was going to. I, I just, I mean, it's kind of short because I don't okay. figure out if we had a, a budget because, so for example, just the stuff that, you know, say I would use in my business that I, the, the kind of the main things I use to keep costs low because I don't, you know, have a lot of money yet to put into my, you know, real estate marketing because what I do, I'm, what's most effective for me are these bandit signs. Um, they're cheap. Like I just put them up there. It's the materials. It's like $2 a sign. Um, and then I just kind of go put them up on the side of the road, and, and people call them. And it's just a really simple message. So I don't know if that translates to what we do so much. I think, uh, yeah, to me, it just seemed like the biggest thing is going to be word of mouth, kind of people talking about it. Yeah. Um, so that's a good idea. And I was thinking to maybe come up with, like, some cards or some flyers and – you know, if, if I could at least get some, I could maybe find some places to distribute them. And I, I kind of thought, like, um, maker spaces would be a good place to start. Um, cause I know there's a few in Chicago, you know, where they have uh, 3D printers and, um, you know, different stuff like that where, you know, like DIY people go and, and will, you know, make stuff, I guess. Um, you know, I thought maybe I could go there and talk to some of the the people there and, and just see if I could have you been there know, like, before or the what have you been there before I'm oh, sorry I have trouble hearing you have you been there before at the makerspace no no I've uh I've got like a I looked it up I've got like a flyer for it I wanted to go and check it out um and in the future I was thinking of maybe even like renting out a space and trying to build you know when you guys when uh, maybe build one of the prototypes for or, you know, maybe work on some stuff that, you know, some of the stuff you guys are working on. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking we could maybe design, like, a business card. They're really cheap. It's, like, $10. At Vista Print, you can print out, like, 500 of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe just put on one side, like, the, the OSE logo. Maybe, like, a, a tagline or something. And then on the other side, just put, like, a a little bit more descriptive kind of um, almost like a call to action type thing mm -hmm. um, so I was thinking that could be something I mean that would be a good place to start because you know just having that those things like if me to you know say somebody you know joins the team almost as like a welcome package maybe we can send them some like promotional kind of marketing materials just different thing they could, you know, make like some cheap swag, like a hat or shirt, something like that, just to, you know, kind of get the, uh, just to kind of get the message out there, you know, along with, obviously, like, encouraging them to talk to their friends about it, but, um, but yeah, I think maybe something like that would be a good idea to sort, sort of, like, once people come on board, just send them, like, a cheap, you know, we could try and come up with a budget for it, um, you know, maybe something like that to just sort of send out to people. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, let me uh, start this doc here. Yeah, so I mean, let's see if we can refine this. So let's see. Um,
trying to share a document, but it's really. Um... Oh, so if you're gonna uh, share something, you gotta email it to me because. Uh, okay. I'm on. I'm on my phone. It doesn't have the chat box. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold on a second here. It's, this is taking forever here. Yeah, whatever we want to, whatever we decide on, we want to see if we can get a specific plan and budget for it or whatever. Um, whatever we want to do. I was thinking that that in the recruiting phase, I mean, I guess it would be very effective to to go out one place to reach out for is hackerspaces, indeed, because those are the people that want to be building stuff and typically have the time to um, work on other stuff, work on outside of their job. But the thing is that we we want to focus that we're reaching out to people who are, who are financially stable, who have jobs typically, so that um, that just really eliminates eliminates a lot of risk of people quitting because they you know they gotta go to work and stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Okay, so let me send this to you. rendering this video I, it looks like when i render something on my video just bogs my computer down even if it's going on google docs it just they don't load up forever okay better not to do um renderings while i do any google docs well, so this is uh what you're trying to send me is the the draft of the email yeah i wanted to do a Google Doc so we actually work on it together so that we can both edit it but basically it's like okay here's all the things that we need to know and make sure we got that and so so basically the idea would be that um, you know how we have the HR job description we should kind of look at that as a guideline so actually we should probably paste that in here and kind of go for each step because like this would be basically the onboarding step so okay, here's our welcome email and so forth, and see kind of how this process all fits together. Right. Um, but let's, I guess, kind of start writing up. Um, it's like an operations manual, kind of like on HR page, but it's right now on the HR page. It's all over the place, which which is where we're putting all our assets up on the HR page. Right. Um, but this document would start refining this to to more of the formal process that we use, just the system that okay. we use. Right. That, that's another thing I had a question about because I know you sent a spreadsheet that kind of has the uh, information on everybody, like the recruits, and I was looking at it a little bit. It looks like it's, it has a lot of people on there that are sort of in the um, recruitment phase. Um, yeah. Right. right. Hold up here. Then, um, okay, so then once people are... Um, part of the team and they they um, you know they're on the like once they're on the team then is there a way to kind of keep track of who they are and what they're working on I yeah know, I know everyone has one log is that just in the log then the, the wiki log yeah that? Yeah, it is. There's one is the project log where you see what the commitments of the people are and the second thing is where what the person's doing is reflected in their log so 
yeah, let's kind of go over all of this here. Um, Mamba's thing. Okay, I'm going to quit this.